Hello everyone! So it is currently Saturday morning and this weekend my friend is visiting from out of town so I'll be hosting them here and so first and foremost I need to like get this place guest presentable. It's gone pretty messy because throughout the work week I just throw things around and I don't really clean at all throughout the work week so there's a lot of cleaning to do when the weekend comes. And then before they get here, I have a couple of errands to run. And when they do get here, I obviously need to spend time with them, hang out with them. We're gonna go eat, we're gonna go grab some drinks, have fun. And it's just gonna be like a chill but fun and productive weekend. So I'm gonna take you along with me. And with that, let's get started with the video. The busier my work week, the messier my place gets. So today was a clean everything kind of day. I started off with cleaning the living room and this part probably gives me the most headaches because I'm the type of person to just take things and not put them back so it's a little bit of a reverse scavenger hunt process to find the right place for all of my items. I love my couch but if there's one thing that I could change, it would be this back cushion. I feel like I always have to fluff it or else it sags and since it's one of the biggest pieces of furniture I own, it's really important to keep it tidy. I feel like I'm always cleaning something in my videos and that is because seriously as a real adult, unfortunately the cleaning never stops. Whoever said that adulting is cleaning, they're not wrong. If you had to ask me what the messiest part of my apartment is, it has to be my vanity table. I think it's because all of the skincare and cosmetics are so small and I just take them out and they roll around everywhere. I also use the vanity stool as my not clean but not dirty clothes chair, so that piles up really fast too. Next I had to pack some items for return. These earmuffs looked really cute in the pictures, but the headband part was way too big for me and it wasn't adjustable. I've been wanting to get these fleece line leggings for the longest time, but this one had a really weird stitch in the crotch area, so it made my tushy quite uncomfortable. Amazon? Yeah. There's two things. Um... I was able to return my packages at a UPS store and I intended to scan some tax forms there too, but it was actually super expensive, so I decided to take a short walk to the closest staples. Another big part of adulting is doing your taxes. I have a lot of additional tax forms from YouTube this year, and my accountant asked me to scan it and email it to them. If there's one thing that I'm bad at and slightly anxious and scared of, it's taxes. Usually I'm all about doing things myself since it is the most cost efficient, but for taxes, I will gladly pay someone else to do it for me. After running my errands and having a quick lunch, I started to prep my place for my guest of honor. I love having friends and family over, and since I live alone, I'm usually a great candidate for housing whenever they visit New York City. Whoa! 
away. Is it so? Yeah, of course. It's like he read my mind. You're gonna get it. I really wanted this. Uh, so I was gonna get one, but then Bruce came over and then he said my bathroom was too it. ratchet for nice soap. People are gonna use it. Unboxing. It's a good addition to your new apartment. This is too bougie for my ratchet bathroom. <laughs> Thank you! You are so kind. I got this air mattress last year and it has been a really good purchase because I've been using it a lot. The couch is also really comfy and is sized as a twin XL so sometimes guests like to sleep there. But since I'm really extra, I like to make them a bed to make them feel more welcomed and comfortable, you know? My friend Jing and I both love sushi, so I made a reservation at this new omokase place in the East Village for dinner. The course was definitely more on the exploratory side and the atmosphere was fun. Omokase can get quite pricey in the city, but this place was pretty affordable and the staff was also really nice. There was free sake and beer on the house, which was a plus. After dinner, we got some dessert, met up with another friend for some more drinks, and just enjoyed a really fun night out in the city. Okay, to be honest, most of my Sunday was spent being hungover, so I didn't feel much, but I promise you, it was nothing too exciting. After Jang left, I cleaned up a little bit and decided to unbox some packages. I ordered some Tupperware and also these really cute magnets from Etsy. I got two packs, one dumpling shaped and one egg shaped. I love putting up pictures on my fridge and these magnets just made everything 10 times cuter. I don't know where this idea came from, but I had the urge to start meal prepping again. There were periods of times in college where I meal prepped. Once was after first semester freshman year when I realized that I gained the full freshman 15 and my pants didn't fit me anymore. And the second was sometime during junior or senior year where me and my friends were all really into fitness and health. I find that I spend a lot of time cooking during my lunch break, so hopefully this will save me some time during those busy work days. For this week's lunches, I kept it simple with some quinoa, roasted sweet potatoes, a bell pepper and onion mix, and some baked teriyaki chicken. Okay, well that is all for this video. I hope that you enjoyed and I'll see you all next time. Bye!